connected with me and Bill to the presence of the planet Mars. I decided to carry out this idea, for I feared that in their hatred, my friend's enemies might make a search for his planetary body, and if they happen to hear where it had been returned to the presence of their planet Earth, as your favorite say, Barry, they would no doubt find it and perpetrate further outrages upon it. This occasion I soon ascended from the curious sea to the planet Mars, where the beings of our tribe, the made of several kind Martians who had already learned of the events that had just taken place on the Earth, paid due respect to the planetary body that I had brought back with me. They varied as if the ceremony customary on the planet Mars, and over the burial place erected a suitable construction. In any case, this was the first and the soul you the last, brave, as your favorite pilot, for a being of the Earth on this at once so near yet so far in, for terrestrial beings, quite inaccessible planet Mars. I learned afterwards that this story came to the attention of the most great archangel Sephronisinarto, the all-quarters maintainer of that part of the universe to which the system wars belong, and that he manifested his approval by giving to the appropriate being a command concerning the soul of this terrestrial friend of mine. On the planet Mars I did indeed find a waiting with several beings of our tribe, recently arrived from the planet Tyrannus. Among them, by the way, was your grandmother, who, according to the indications of the chief, the listener, of the planet Tyrannus, had been designated for me as the passive half for the continuation of my mind. Chapter 20 The Third Flight of the Elzebub to the Planet Earth After a brief pause, the Elzebub continued. This time I stayed at home on the planet Mars for a very short while, only long enough to see and talk with those who had just arrived, and to give certain instructions of a common tribal character. Obligations were taken care of, I descended again to your planet with the intention of pursuing my aim, that is, to outpeak the most strange earth-centered beings their horrible customs, which they considered a sacred duty of destroying the existence of beings of other brain systems. On my third descent to the planet Earth, our ship occasion did not alight on the clarity of peace. Now called it Cassian, but on the sea known as that period is a sea of beneficence. You decided to alight there because this time I wished to go to the capital of the beings of the second group on the continent of Ashkart, the city of Shab, which was situated on the southeastern shore of that sea. The city of Gob was then a large city, and was renowned over the whole planet for its production of fine, fabric, and what are called, precious ornaments. The city spread over both banks of the mouth of a large river, called the Periatai, which rose in the eastern highlands of the country and emptied into the Sea of Beneficence. On its western side another large river, called the Mariatai, flowed into the same sea. And it was chiefly in the valleys of these two rivers that the beings of the second group on the continent of Ashkart existed. If you like, my dear boy, I will tell you a little about the history of these beings, the Elzebub said to Hassan. Yes. Grandfather, please. I shall listen to it all with great interest and gratitude, replied his grandson. So the Elzebub began, a long, long time before the period of my 
by present tale, and even long before the second great catastrophe to that ill-fated planet, while the continent of Atlantis was still at the height of its splendor, one of the ordinary three-centered beings of that continent, discovered, it later became clear through my investigation, that the powdered horn of a being of a particular exterior form then called Primaro was a very effective remedy for all sorts of diseases, and this discovery was afterwards circulated far and wide by various priests on your planet at the same time there was gradually crystallized and the reason of ordinary being the directing factor, of course illusory, which later contributed to the formation in the common presence of each of your favorites, especially the contemporary ones, the reason of their so-called waking existence and this factor is to a large extent the cause of the frequent change in their conviction. Owing to this factor, crystallized in the presence of the three brain beings of that period, it became the custom that anyone who fell ill, as they say, of some disease or other had to be given a dose of this powdered horn to swallow. You might be interested to know that Primaro still breed on your planet, but the contemporary beings take them merely for one of the species they call deer, and have no special name for them. Well, my boy, the beings of the continent of Atlantis destroyed so many of these Primaros for the sake of their horns that soon not a single one was left there then certain beings of that continent who had made a profession of hunting Primaros went to look for them on other continents and islands. This kind of hunting presented great difficulties, for it took many hunters to round up and capture the Primaros, so these professional hunters always took their whole families along with them to help. One day several of these families banded together and set off to hunt Primaros on a distant continent then called, Iranan, which later, after the upheavals caused by the second catastrophe, was called the continent of Ashkar, and today is known by your favorites as Asia.